Hi! Welcome sa I Am Learning. Sa video na ito ay tuturo ko sa iyo kung paano maglagay ng formulas sa Form 14. Kung handa ka na, huwag na tayong magsayang pa ng minuto at tara, umpisa na natin. So, narito tayo ngayon sa sample ng Excel file ng aking Form 14. So, dahil Grade 6 ang tinuturuan ko, ay nilagay ko lahat ng subjects namin. So, for example, in Filipino, na-input ko na ang scores ni pupil A, which is 50. For English Math Science, it's the same. At dahil siya ang pinakamagtalino estudyante ko, for example, got all niya lahat ang scores niya sa lahat ng subjects. So, usually, minamanual natin yan, pero here in Microsoft Excel, pwede natin yan na itungta ng automatic. At ang pinakamaganda dito is napakadali lang. Okay. So, hintayin lang natin ang white cross na cursor and then we just have to drag ng lahat ng data na gusto natin ma-add. Pwede natin yung gawin isa-isa pero pwede rin na uh, minsanan. So, itong una ituturo ko is yung minsanan. And then just click auto sum. So, ulitin natin. Just drag. And then for the last cell kung saan pupunta ang sagot, is we just have to click auto sum at automatic na doon lalagay sa pinakahuling set. Yung namang isahan is equal sign and then we just have to click yung data. Tapos i-click natin isa-isa. Kaya lang minsan ang nagiging problema dito is kapag sa sobrang haba ay natatakpan na yung cell na gusto nating click sometimes. Okay? Ayan, K14. And then, you just have to click Enter. At same lang ang results na magpupuhan natin. Well, just like the same sa auto sum. Okay? And then, um, just give me a second for typing in or inputting the data of the remaining tables. So, for example, So, yan ang data. At wala rin problema kung ikakapin na lang natin ang data ni pupil F hanggang kay pupil J. So, hintayin lang natin ang uh, cursor na black cross and then just drag. Okay. And then for the remaining, I think we'll add ang kasunapan. Listen at the Have to enter here. Yeah. So, the shortest way para ma-compute din automatically ang scores ni pupil B hanggang kay pupil J is to just click on the cell na may formula na dun sa total score ni pupil A and then wait for the black cross cursor and then just have to click um, I mean, left click and then just drag, ba ba ba. And then you'll get the total score of each pupil. So, ganon man karami yung pupil nyo, ganon lang din ang gagawin. Okay? So, on this part, ito naman yung total. So, gusto nating itotal ang nakuha ng bawat, nakuha ng lahat ng bata sa Filipino subject. So, just like the one which we did here. We just have to drag. And then, at the last cell, kung saan natin gusto mapunta yung sagot, click natin ang auto sum. Yan. And then, drag, click auto sum. Drag, click auto sum. Pero kung gusto mo ng shortcut, hindi ka drag ng drag, pwedeng isa lang i-drag mo. And then, since the formula dito is the same sa lahat ng column, i-drag mo na lang yung sagot. Okay? And then, mag-automatic na siya na mag-compute ng sagot sa bawat column. Next, we have the highest possible score. So, ilan ba yung highest possible score na dapat makuha ng isang bata? So, we have here 50. And then, kung medyo tamad-tamad ka, no, I don't mean that actually, na tamad kayo. Okay? Gusto ko lang mapadali. Right. Ganyan. 
And then, of course, yung highest possible score sa lahat ng subject is, of course, 400. So, the mean is total score divided by the number of pupils, right? Ito. We just have now to input the formula for the mean. Ito na yun. So, equal sign muna. And then, you have to click yung total score sa Filipino. And then, divided by how many pupils do you have? You have 10 pupils, right? And then, just click enter. And then, pwede mong ulitin yung formula. Equal sign. And then, i-click mo. Of course, um, yung total score sa English, right? Kasi kanina, ang clinic natin is yung total score sa Filipino. So, click the total score ng English and then divided by 10. Kasi yung 10 dito is constant. That is why, pwede natin siyang i-drag kasi constant naman yung formula natin. At nasa iisang um, column, nasa iisang row lang sila. So, just drag up to the very end of the column. Yan. So, that would be our mean. Now, we have the median. So, when it comes to median, hindi natin basta-basta yun nalalagyan ng formula. Kasi walang exact location ng cell kung saan nandun yung highest score at lowest score. Tama? So, usually ay ginagawa na lang ito manually. So, for example, dito, ang highest score is 50. At, at ang lowest score ay 40. So, kunwari, papalitan natin to ng 30. Kunwari lang. May kita nyo na nagbabago din yung formula. Pati dito sa kabila. Kasi, nalagyan na nga ng formula yan. So, kahit nalagyan mo ng 20 dyan, magbabago at nababago yung formula. So, for example, since binago ko siya, ang nilagay kong lowest score is 20 and 50 naman ang highest score, pwede mo rin naman lagyan yun ng formula. Kaya lang, napakadali lang nun, di ba? So, 50 plus 20. And then, you just have to divide it by 2, right? And that would be the median. So, median here is 35. And then, here we have 45 kasi... 40 plus 50 equals 90 divided by 2, 45. Tama? Um, dito naman is 40. Kasi 50 plus 30, 80 divided by 2, 40. Same as here. And then, here we have 45. 45. 40. And then here you have, well, that is 50 plus 35. Pwede nyo i-click. Pwede nyo ring i-input. Okay, we have 42.5. And then here naman, of course, just have to click yung nasa pinakamataas at yung lowest score which is 265. And then divide it by... Okay, now we go to the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of the mean. So, alin dyan ang mga mean natin? on a part. So, you just have to put equal sign first, and then you just have to type Q, S, Q, R, T, then double click, and then you just have to click yung cell kung nasaan yung B. And then, close it with uh, close parenthesis, and then enter. Yan. Yan na ang ating standard deviation sa Filipino. And para ma shortcut ang formula, you just have to drag it up to the last column. Yan. Dali, di ba? Now we go to the ALP. So ALP is mean divided by highest possible score times 100. So for example, the first thing you have to do in putting a formula is to put an equal sign first. Equal sign, and then ikiklik mo ang mean. Yan. 41.0. And then, so, maglagay mo na tayo ng open parenthesis sa bago natin i-click. So, ulitin ko para malino. Okay, I mean, equal sign, open parenthesis, and then you click the mean, and then you divide it to the highest possible score, which is 50, and then close parenthesis, asterisk, nasa taas ng number 8 sa keyboard, and times 100%. Okay. And the ALP is 82%. And to get the ALP of all the subjects, you don't have to redo all the steps. You just have to drag. 
back to the last column. Okay. Now we go to number of pupils above 75 percent. So 75 percent of 400, I believe, is 300. But here we just have to get the 75 percent of 50, tama? So 75 percent of 50 is 37.5. So yung mga kuha ng 38 pataas, sila yung naka 75 percent. So ilan yun? One. Mayroon lang dalawa na hindi naka 37.5 or 38. So, 10 minus 2 equals 8. So, we just have 8 here. Dito naman ay nakapasa lahat. Naka 75% lahat. And dito is mayroong dalawa. And dito naman yung mga naka 300 patas. So, we have mga bumagsak. So, 75% passing rate, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 6 na nakapasa. Okay. Now, what is, what percentage is 8 out of 10? So, to compute that, we have to put equal sign, click the number of pupils who got 75% and above, and you divide it to the number of pupils. So, that's 80%. And then, just drag. Then sa pinakapalit. Right. How about number of pupils below 75%? So, this will apply. Kung ganito ko konti yung estudyante, of course, nakapadali lang. Diba? So, 8. Of course, this is 2. Tapos dito 0. Dito 2 na naman. This is 4. Pero pwede lang lagyan ng formula. For example, ang pupils nyo is 30 and above and, or 40 and above. Ganito lang ang gagawin mo. So, you have to put equals and then 10 Dahil yun ang number ng estudyante ninyo, minus yung column ng paglalagyan nyo ng kung ilan ang naka-75%. Para automatic siya mag-subtract. Yun. And then you just have to drag. Up to the very end. So, makita nyo, ba? And how about sa pinakahuling part? Para hindi nyo nagawin ulit ang maglagay ng formula, pwede nyo namang kopyahin na. ba? Kasi constant naman ang 10 which is the number of your pupils. So, pwede natin i-click ang formula dito. And I just have to control C, copy, and then control V, which is paste. And then, just have to try. Okay. So, this time, tapos na ang ating form for 